issue that we have had is the ground is so hard. So what's what's something like this worth? If you bought a standard one tomorrow, about Yeah, these are the drawbacks of Okay, we're just outside of Honiton today. And they've got a good sized project on here. The main project here is to clear this bank of brambles and small self-set saplings and things like that. Uh, we're gonna be then spraying off the brambles once they start growing again to get rid of them. And then we're gonna be doing a stock fence uh, at a total height of approximately 1.4 meters. And the idea for that is to be able to keep the dogs in make sure that they can't jump off the higher points on the bank over the fence and go after some of the rabbits and things that are in the area. So yeah, this side on the bank up there, those oak saplings and things will come out as well. All the way down to here. And the idea is that we're going to come off the driveway a bit to make sure that the neighbour's got plenty of room and do the stock fence all the way up here as well. Down through here to the neighbour's gate post and then up onto the bank and around the left hand side of that stump. And there's the end point of the fence. So, uh, we were hoping that this was going to go in line with the shed. Unfortunately, we've got a load of concrete coming out under the grass here. So we're going to get these two end posts in, and then we'll get these posts in all the way up. ground is so hard, there's so much sort of rock and hardcore in there, the post will not drive with a post driver at all. So we're working on some other options. Uh, I've got contact with a, uh, a digger and a post driver on it. So we'll see if we can get him in. Um, otherwise, we may be out of luck with this one and we may have to hand dig everything in and then concrete it in. Right. We've arrived 8.55. We've got nice new hats from the fencing centre, or at least the two people that matter yeah. do. I haven't. Do you hear that? The two people that matter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the plan today is we're going to get this post in, first of all, let that set for a couple of hours while we go and do the fence up there. Yep. Get that fence in, 
by the time we've done that we can come back hang the gate and then that will allow us to position the other post exactly where it needs to be we've got a 12 foot five bar gate from the fencing center and we changed that post over because the other one had a bit of a split in it right so we measured it up we know that the gate's four foot so we've got one foot above the top of the gate there uh, by the time we've raised the gate a couple of inches off the ground it will be slightly less than that eight to ten inches uh, we've cut the bottom off the post so we can now get this in the hole That's after easy. taking the post crete out Did you film for Lovely. Gates for days. Straight down on top of that nice mole hill. Lovely. He I'm a mole. <coughs> <You're not> <laughs> <laughs> Bang on. So that's 3.6 outside to outside. So in reality, that would be lovely. 3.6. Yeah. All right, quick update. We have these posts in. They're above 1.4 meters. They'll all work really well for what we're doing. So we'll get the wire on, get the half runs on, and then cut them off. But uh, that took us what half an hour yes. to do those. If the rest of them went like that, we'd have all these posts in today. Should have had them in yesterday, but unfortunately. <laughs> There's a load of rocks and things. I mean, we like it hard. Yeah. It's not that hard. <laughs> okay, back on site. This has had four hours to go off. Really nice and solid. So the idea now, we'll get the gate on, get it as low as possible. The idea is going on this post, swinging it out. So the ground drops away, there's not going to be an issue there. Get the gate on, get the gate level, and that will allow us to set the height on the other post. Definitely won't come out like it did on the last. Oh, it has too. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs a hammer, hey? <clears throat> Probably you. Lovely. Extra two and a half times. The black guitar. Takes a while. So why do we do this? Why do, what? To protect the post where it's most likely to rot, just above and below ground level, where moisture and Moist. the air can get to it. Hmm. Moist. It doesn't actually rot like when it's inside of the concrete. It's no. at ground level that it rots. But yeah, no moisture can get to it inside the concrete.
Half A? Yeah. Here you go. I'm winding it in on this one. It's been wounded. So it didn't get very far. Okay, we had some problems with getting the stakes in on this one for the fencing, so we've contacted Ash uh, from APR Fencing. He's here to help us today get these stakes in, which will allow us to do the fence, keep the dogs in. He's just prepping his machine, he's taken the support off, stops everything from walking around on the trailer. We'll track it off in a minute and then we'll get cracking. Oh, just have a little feel. That's solid steel, I just beat that in the ground. You hold that. Yep, that, that'll do the job. She just goes straight in, never bends. Yeah. Yep, I'm, I'm not so far. <laughs> me. Oh, that's the... the yeah, the rock slide. Rock slide. Yep. the rock slide. Solid bit of steel. So, 8.52, first post is in.
Yeah, so these auxiliary, these um, this BSP pipes, quarter inch are for the netter. So we have a hydraulic wire netter that that's a stabilizing bar in there. So a big stabilizing bar sits in there between those two wear pads. You've got a top link in there, stopping strengthening everything. Um, and then they fit on a pin and cone system. So you drive into the netter, and um, just yeah, she's a bit of a bugger to get on, but. Um, Good bit of kit, hydraulic tensions forward, has seven moving functions on it. Um, so you can unreal net up to uh, 900 high. So stock fencing I can do on this machine. Your horse net and your deer net I can't because obviously it's not big enough, but it will tension it, do everything. Got a little blade here um, uh, for pushing you know, rubbish out the way that's in my way. And then we've got, moving back here, we've got um, Nice lock box. Yeah, nice little box there for the lunch. Um, we've got a hydraulic slew ring, so a big, big slew ring that goes 120, 120 degrees, so she'll go right over there. This weight is only a small weight. I only went for a, oh, just under a 300 kilo weight um, because I've got such a long mast. I've got the longest mast Protect do, um, and then the foot, this weight will go right to the floor to put my struts, my uh, end conventional strut pegs in the floor. We have a longer mast leg in there, so I don't know what that is, probably a 900 leg or an 800 leg. No, yeah, it's a 900 leg. So when this machine lifts right up in the sky, we've got a boom lift on here. So this machine will go completely up in the sky and then we can send that one up to do field shelters. So yeah, we're looking at probably, I don't know, 4.8 to five meters in the sky, big posts. And we've got plenty of services. We've got, you know, the boom lift there. We've got the blade on the front up and down, the rock spike. And we've got the tele mask, got the extending tracks. Um, as you can see, I keep everything in good condition. Um, it's a working machine. Yes, yeah, so, but um, mm -hmm. yeah, well, yeah, plenty of- be bugger without that rock spike. Anti, right? anti splatter pipes So you got now. your uh, dark, oh, side. dark side. Dark side, yeah. The old, nice. the old Amarok. It's done at the old dark side. But um, yeah, nice big slew ring, nice big extending tracks, nice big metal idlers here. With a, with a sealed bearing. And then you've got a massive great big idler on the back. These are all tensioned. So you've got a ram in here, which comes out by when you put, pop a bit of grease in there if they're slack, but they are, they're bang on there. Not too tight, not gonna wear anything out. But um, grease is important. Make sure these machines are greased top to toe. I like grease and I love looking after it because it makes my living. So what's, what's something like this worth? If you bought a standard one tomorrow, about 60,000 quid. A uh, machine like this with a wire netter on would be way more. And um, this was a very special build by Protec to myself. Um, because the guy at Protec, Steve, is just a magician. He just makes anything that I want within reason. If you can get hold of him on WhatsApp, he's a bloody good guy. But um, yeah, you've got a new um, pulley system up there. So you're uh, getting a quicker rope speed. Um, What's that for? Like? Quick, quicker, quicker yeah, so basically it's only a short ram that just literally just whips up and down, which picks the, you've got more rope going around more pulleys. People say it's slow, but I find it quite quick. This machine's really fast because it's, it's got a 30 litre hydraulic tank underneath the engine, so a slightly bigger one. Um, it's the whole, whole height of the engine. A lot of the smaller machines have them, they're only dinky little oil tanks, but Steve built a bigger one because we have the wire netter on, and my Christ does it fly along. So yeah. more oil, faster. Um, yeah, I bloody love it blade and i'm here today helping out gorilla ground care <laughs> breaking helmets but um <laughs> here we are i'm glad i got the rock spike here today because he's putting me through hell here <laughs> beating well, stone and that's what we're here. that's what it's for though yeah. we don't want to make it too easy nah but um but yeah if anyone wants to uh know any more about the machine or wants to buy one 
I can sell them one, no problem at all, because I'm a bit of an agent for Protec. So, uh, yeah, just uh, go and remortgage your house and take a brick out the wall and get yourself a hundred grand. <laughs> no deal. No worries, mate. Good ass, you cool. Right, 10.15. It's all going well. Got that one to come out, but all of these have gone in. Leveled them up, straightened them up. I said to use the rock spike on about half of them. Just straightening that one up now. All looking good. So, only these to do. Down through here. Get the tops off those in a sec and carry on. You've only got four inches, but you've got 300 kgs to push it in with. And skating, skating down the hill. Yep. These are the drawbacks of pushing it in with 300 kgs. Time is 12.39. Just tidying up the posts. Absolutely work hard down the bottom there. Some of it was just as hard as the area we started on. But all the posts are currently in. Tidying crew, sorting everything out. Trying to line the posts up. Right. Right. Go to the line.
four o'clock. Uh, obviously we've had Ash in today from uh, APR fencing, uh, getting the stakes in for us because it's obviously so hard down here because you've got bits of concrete like this. Um, we've not got as much as we'd like uh, done. Managed to get it all pinned up from all the way up here. So I'll just show you this. I think we'll be back tomorrow just to get these rails on. Managed to get these rails on, all the way around, up into the corner. We've just got to put another post onto that little building and uh, fix it to that. So yeah. Like and subscribe. Oh mate, RJ. He... <laughs>